I give you guys like uh, two guesses as to what Hogwarts house I am. Because <laughs> I know it's really hard and it's going to be really tough to figure it out. But you know what? I think you can guess. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm super excited to start a new project pan. This was actually created by Christina Chang and I just watched the video on her channel like an hour ago. And is such a cute Harry Potter project pan idea and I saw that she actually tagged me in it and I was so thankful because as someone who is just coming down from a trip to Harry Potter world and is also a huge Harry Potter nerd I, I was so excited to see this and I cannot wait to show you guys the products that I picked and talk about everything so before I get too too excited let's go ahead <laughs> You may actually just jump into the products. I will leave all of the prompts down below. If you guys want to do this, please, please, please do it along with us and let me know if you're going to be doing it in the comments. And I will link Christina's video down below and in the cards as well. God, I'm like so excited. I don't even know like what I've said and what I need to do yet. So HP Project Pan, um, if you guys didn't watch the original video from Christina, which you should, I'll link it. Uh, this project pan is going to go all the way to Harry's birthday, so it's going to go until July 31st. So I probably will be doing monthly updates until then, maybe more if I need to do some more updates. And there's going to be seven products because Christina did an amazing job of coming up with seven prompts based on the seven books. I don't think I need to show how much of a nerd that I am. I feel like I'm doing a decent job of it right here, but to see can i turn this way this is the box set of all the harry potter books that my best friend got me for my birthday or christmas a couple years ago thank you brooke i love it it's like sitting right there and then also right here i have what's left of my original set of the harry potter books all the hard covers because i like bought them like the midnight release that they came out most there's only three left right there because the most of the rest of them fell apart because i literally read them so much yeah honestly i haven't gone through and reread them in a couple years so i might do that this summer that might be like my summer reading project is to go back through all the harry potter books but anyway i'm getting off on tangents let's jump into the first of the seven products so the first prompt is which would you choose slytherin or gryffindor i know this is like a really really tough decision <laughs> i'm being facetious as all hell uh so obviously slytherin um i've been a slytherin ever since i was young and i don't know i feel like it's just always been where i fit every quiz that i take including the pottermore one i've been slytherin so i've identified as a slytherin for almost my entire life but so slytherin means you're going to pick a green item my green item i'm actually wearing today this is a green mascara from YSL. I purchased this back, okay, so I'll link the video up. I think it was during the drunk Sephora haul with my BFF Brooke. I really wanted to try out some luxury products and a green mascara was just like, like who does that? It's awesome. So I used this I think twice for that almost full face of YSL video that I did and then I didn't touch it anymore. But as you can see, I'm wearing it today. You can't really tell from far away that I'm wearing a green mascara. And I really want to get more use out of this. I want to do some more, uh, like, unique looks. I want to do some... I'm going to try to take pictures of my looks. I'm horrible at taking close-up pictures of, like, my eye looks. But I really want to get use out of this product. Because it's been sitting in my poor little mascara drawer and I just haven't reached for it. And this is the perfect opportunity for my Slytherin self to get out there and use this mascara. The next question, based on the Chamber of Secrets, is item that you pretend doesn't exist, which I love it. She talked about how uh, sassy Harry was when he said that line. I'm going to go upstairs and make no noise and pretend I don't exist. Yes. Uh, so what I don't, or what I pretend doesn't exist. So A, single eyeshadows. I have a large collection of single eyeshadows and I rarely reach for them. Rarely. On top of that, single eyeshadows that are packaged individually. I'm talking about like the ColourPop and the Geek Chic Cosmetics little individual shadows. A step further, individually packed single eyeshadows that are loose. I pretend those don't exist even though I own a couple of them. So 
I'm bringing in one from ColourPop for this project. This is in the shade Honey Pot, and this is their Superstar Loose Pigment. So if you can see, I actually haven't even opened this. It's still brand new. And it's a silver loose pigment. So my little self thought, if I wanted to do some Slytherin looks, green and silver is the way to go. So I'm actually going to open this because I haven't. So I actually swatched it lightly right there. You can barely see it. So if you use it with a light hand, it could almost be like a shimmery highlighter. I might try it like that. But also I just want to get some use out of some single shadows and some loose shadows because I own this. I have so many great ideas of looks that I can do with it. I just never reach for them. So I'm going to work on this. Prompt number three from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is you have the grim. Choose an item others hate that you love. I really couldn't pick anything else other than this product. I, I thought about it and I was like, the only thing that comes to mind is my pen that palette. This has been so divisive across the beauty community. It's kind of nuts how divisive it is. But so this is my pen that palette. I will link that in the cards and down below if you want to track along with my pen that palette progress. But specifically for this project, I want to focus on the four house colors. So Destiny for Slytherin, Edge for Hufflepuff, Axis for Ravenclaw, and I'll start for Gryffindor. I want to see how much progress I can make on those four shades by the end of this project. Ideally, I would like to hit pan on all four. I don't know how realistic that is for Axis. Axis is the shade that I'm having the most difficulty with, but I think adding it into this project and making it more Harry Potter themed and more interesting is a way to motivate myself to do a little bit more than maybe I would have before. Prompt number four, based on The Goblet of Fire, which is actually my favorite movie. My favorite book was Half-Blood Prince, but my favorite movie is actually Goblet of Fire because I felt like it had the perfect balance between pulling elements from the book and making it into a digestible good movie. Like it was both a good book and a good movie. I mean, except for the whole Hermione dress thing. We're not going to talk about that. Let's not. So anyway, this prompt is an item to honor Cedric, our favorite doomed Hufflepuff. So Christina mentioned this would be like a yellow or a gold item. So I'm bringing in a Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Gold Goddess. So I've actually almost gotten to the point where I've panned one of these in a different shade. And I'm realizing I'm not really reaching for the rest of the shades that I have. I have like eight of these. I need to use them. So this is just a really bright gold shade I'm wearing on my lids today. It's gorgeous, hands down. I just need to reach for it more often. So this will be my Cedric Gold. Prompt number five, which is based on the Order of the Phoenix, brings us to Luna Lovegood. So this prompt is an item that reminds you of Luna Lovegood. And I thought about this long and hard. And if I were to think of Luna as a, a makeup item, which of course I'm weird, that's where my mind goes, I would think of her as a highlighter. So I picked a highlighter from Wet n Wild that I think really reminds me of Luna and it's this uh, Mega Glow highlighting powder in the shade White Raven. It's a duochrome shade, so it's different in the pan. So it's, it's different from what you think it is versus how it actually applies and what it actually does look like in different lighting. I'm trying to get, it's trying to be a metaphor here. I'm trying guys. And also white Raven for Ravenclaw, like, ugh. <laughs> this, this is actually perfect. Also, there's like a skull here to kind of reference the fact that you can see the Thestrals. Like, ugh. I was so excited when I found this product. I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> so my goal is to try and hit pan on this. This is a huge amount of product. It's a huge pan. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to focus like in this top right hand corner and use it as a highlighter, use it maybe as an eyeshadow. I'm wearing it today. It is a gorgeous shade. At first I thought it might be too blinding to use for everyday use, but I'm gonna wear this to work and it just looks like a beautiful shade. You get some pink in some lights, you get white in others, it looks almost purpley. It's gorgeous. So my goal is to try to hit pan on that like top right hand portion of the shade. Not sure if I'll be able to, but... I was just so proud of myself for finding this product. <laughs> Prompt number six, based on my favorite book, The Half-Blood Prince. <laughs> P 
pygmy puffs. I remember how much I loved pygmy puffs. I don't have a pygmy puff. I saw them at Harry Potter World and I wanted to buy other things, but they're adorable. And if pygmy puffs are real, I, I would want one. Like, I'm sure they're just like extra cute hamsters, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> so this prompt is a item you picked just for the cute packaging. And so here we go. This is adorable. I rarely wear lashes. So I picked this up from Sephora quite some time ago, I'm pretty sure. These are the House of Lashes in Knockout. I rarely wear lashes. I even have a cute like eyelash holder thing that matches that I rarely use because I rarely wear lashes. So my goal for this, these are fairly pricey lashes. So I want to wear this at least 10 times. By July 31st, I want to have worn this pair of false eyelashes 10 times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the box and on the back, I'm going to actually like make a tally for each time I wear them. I'm not going to make it too difficult for myself and say I have to wear them for like a full day or, you know, I just want to actually take the time to make a look, apply these and wear them for a little bit of time. That'll count as a wear for me. So. I bought this 100% because I was like, oh, lashes, I'll totally wear those. Look how cute this packaging is. It almost matches my little lash thing. So I'm gonna try at least get some use out of these because they are gorgeous looking lashes and I paid a decent amount of money for these. Like, <laughs> I need to use them. Prompt number seven based on the Deathly Hallows is always pick your most loved item. And I know Christina also picked kind of a, like a foundation product for this and I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna use my favorite luxury foundation. This is the Chantecaille Future Skin Gel Foundation in the shade Alabaster. This is a bit bittersweet because like Christina, I didn't wanna finish this. I only have like a fourth of the jar left in here. I didn't wanna finish this because I've, I've found a dupe for this product. And the dupe is too good and too affordable for me to ever justify purchasing this again. So this is the last time I'm actually going to own this product. And because of that, I feel like I was using it nonstop for the past couple of weeks and then I was like, I need to stop because it's like almost gone. I need to finish it up. I need to use this up and move it out of my collection and just cherish the last bit of it that I have. <laughs> it sounds silly, but I love this foundation. Part of this is gonna be me dedicating myself to making that dupe video. The dupe that I found is from Wet n Wild. It's that locker, the BB cream from their new workout collection with uh, Blogilates, which I, th I thought the collection was so cute. So I'm gonna dedicate myself to doing that video, maybe even doing a side-by-side -side when I'm working from home <laughs> so I don't look too nuts, just to show you guys. And then, you know, I'm gonna Marie Kondo it. Like, thank you so much for your service. I love this foundation. I'm never gonna spend another however much money, way too much money, that I spent on this foundation again, but I did love it. If I won the lottery and after I paid off my student loans, the next thing I would buy is probably like two or three of these. So those are all of my products. Uh, I'm so excited for this project. It really got me to pick different products. Like I never would have picked these other than my pan that palette for a project pan otherwise. Like. I love this whole idea. I'm so excited about it. Like I said, I think I want to do updates probably once a month until the finale. Again, I will link Christina's original video down below. Please let me know if you're also doing this project pan and if you're also a proud Slytherin. There's not too many of us out there. We're a bit outnumbered. So let me know down below if you are and if you're doing this project. Uh, DM me on Instagram or on Twitter. I had someone comment about how they purchased a product that I recommended and they wanted to send me a picture. Please do that. I would love to see you guys' looks. I would love to just talk to you guys and make friends. I, ah, I'm just so excited about this and about everything. So before I get too excited, <laughs> let me go ahead and just sign off. Thank you for watching this video. I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.